And Line is an innovative manufacturer of zero emission vehicles. Uh, we create, design, and manufacture all electric school buses, mini buses, uh, and class five through eight trucks. In 2011, the first buses designed rolled off the, the lot, and uh, they were a diesel powered bus. Uh, what they did was they designed the chassis and the body and everything around the future of an electric school bus, but they knew they needed to have some money to, to make that dream come true. Uh, so the school bus you're in um, has uh, a few different components uh, other than the other school buses that you see around here today. Uh, it is a composite body, fiberglass composite body, uh, and it's purpose built again by our company and designed for the school bus application with a lot of really neat features. Uh, it has um, removable batteries as well, so uh, when, it, when it can be used for um, a uh, metro style application, they can come back to the facility, pull out the batteries, put two new batteries in, and continue to do their route, so it helps with, with longer range in, in those applications. Currently today, our Lion C school bus uh, has four different uh, offerings, so it's a, a base 65 mile range bus, uh, then we can add additional batteries to get to a 100 mile range, a 125 mile range, and 155 mile range. Uh, the purpose of that is, is that not every route is the same, uh, so you can get you know, uh, the lower cost vehicle at 65 miles if you'd like for your shorter routes, uh, maybe some of the, the, the smaller things you do around your community. And I know in some, some areas, uh, particularly this, this county, I know they have some routes that actually exceed that. So uh, this has 30 moving parts. So it's very, very simple, uh, very easy to maintain. Um, very few fluids, no oil, no, no def, uh, those types of things. So there's benefits to that as well. Um, you know, it has regen braking. So another opportunity for you know, extending the range of the vehicle when you're going down hills, slowing down for, for stops, things like that. It puts power back into the batteries. Yes, sir. It's on the motor, so it's not on the wheels. It's, it's in the motor itself. Um, I don't know if any of you know this, but you know, electric, electric motors are about 96% efficient. So with a, a typical ICE engine, uh, you're about 35 to 40% efficient. You lose a lot of that through heat, uh, but an electric motor is, is extremely efficient. So you're, the, the power that you have on the vehicle gets utilized much, much better. You know, one of the things that we deal with as a challenge in our society now is that we have renewable energies through solar, wind, and water, uh, and no way to store it. So the benefit of these vehicles, I mean, imagine every single one of these school buses on this lot was an electric bus with you know, all the battery packs that are required. You could store the power you need coming off of the grid and use it during peak times in the evening, uh, on weekends, over the summer when school routes aren't running. Uh, so those are some of the opportunities that uh, you know, we look into, uh, that you know, utility companies are looking into as, as they explore this technology along with us.